Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. We are on our way to space. Our 50th electron rocket has taken flight and is headed to orbit carrying five satellites for Kines. Now up next you'll hear the call out for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure which is the point in flight when electron experiences peak structural loads. The GNC operator on console will give us the call that max Q is approaching and then we'll listen out for confirmation of that. Max Q. Excellent to have that confirmation that we have passed through Max Q. We are now at over 2,000 kilometers an hour in speed and just past 17 kilometers in altitude on our way to orbit for Kines. Now next up there are three key events for the mission. Main engine cutoff or MECO, stage separation and then stage two engine ignition. MECO is when all nine Rutherford engines shut down simultaneously on the first stage to prepare for the next phase in Guidance flight. Then after those engines are off, electrons first and, and second shows. stages will separate. Stage one will return back to Earth, while stage two heads in the opposite direction and onward to orbit. Then the vacuum optimized Rutherford engine on Electron's on second on stage on will light up to propel the stage for the second phase of flight. Now those three events all take place in quick succession over just a few seconds, so let's listen in for the calls. 15 seconds to staging. Entered burnout detect mode. Miko confirmed. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two ignition confirmed. Three successes and three milestones down. That was Miko, stage separation and second stage engine ignition. We are now more than two minutes into flight and on the way to orbit for Kines. And up next will be fairing jettison when Electron's fairing splits in two and falls away. Stage two guidance is nominal. Fairing jettison confirmed. And that there was the call out for Bering Jettison, in which you also saw on your screen, exposing the payload of Kinesis' five satellites to space ahead of their deployment. Electron is traveling at over 8,000 kilometers an hour and at an altitude past 126 kilometers. Just a couple more minutes remaining in this second Barry stage burn. Holding nominal. We are now at T plus three minutes, 53 seconds into the mission, now more than uh, 9,000 kilometers in speed, going up to orbit of 635 kilometers. Now, Electron's second stage is moving at more than, like I said, 9,000 kilometers an hour, and we are up past 155 kilometers in altitude as we approach orbital velocity, that sweet spot of balance between moving fast enough to travel around Earth, but not so fast that the satellites escape Earth's gravity altogether. Now, our the speed target for payload deployment is at least 28,000 kilometers an hour, so we have a little faster to go just yet.
We are still partway through the engine burn on Electron's second stage, and one of the things that sets Electron apart from many other rocket designs is the use of electric pumps in the Rutherford engines. Now, those pumps are powered by batteries, which deplete as the engine draws power throughout the flight. But once we use up all that available energy in one set, we switch to a second set of batteries to complete the mission. And once they're dead, then they're gone, and we lose the batteries to drop the extra weight. Now this clever little maneuver is referred to as the battery hot swap. Keep an eye on your screen to see those shiny silver batteries eject and fall away, and we should hear the call come from Mission Control soon. HVB battery discharge nominal approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. Throttling down. Battery jettison confirmed. Guidance is nominal, 150 seconds remaining. There we go, that was battery hot swap for the second stage Rutherford engine. The mission is continuing nominally at more than 16,000 kilometres an hour and now past 204 kilometres in altitude. And up next we will have the final phase of stage two flight, stage two including SECO, or second engine cutoff, which is then followed by kick stage separation. And this is where the kick stage, which is carrying Kinesis satellites, separates from Electron's second stage. No, the final engine cutoff on stage two is coming up now, just shy of nine minutes into the mission. The engine you see on your screen is actually our 499th Rutherford built for an Electron mission, not our 500th engine for our 50th mission like you might expect. And that is because while each Electron features 10 Rutherford engines, nine on the first stage and one on the second stage, we actually recovered and reflew a Rutherford engine on an Electron mission for the first time in 2023. So today instead marks number 499. Just under a minute. It is now T plus 8 minutes 22 seconds into the mission and we are fast approaching second engine cutoff. Now just before that happens, the Rutherford engine will begin to throttle down in preparation for a complete stop. That milestone is scheduled to take place around 8 minutes 58 seconds into the mission, so let's wait for that confirmation now. Seco confirmed. Stage three separation confirmed. Nominal transport. Great bridge. news there from Mission Control. The second stage engine has now shut down and the kick stage has separated.